Uh, I've drawn up a sketch of um, the Super 7 saddle from the side, meaning looking into it like this. Uh, my plan is to apply uh, Rulon onto here so that um, I have this as wear layer. Also plan to apply Rulon on the rear side here. Uh, the Rulon comes in two thicknesses. At least I have bought two thicknesses. They come in many thicknesses. These are um, for me then the thin and the thick one and um, I'm now becoming a little bit better in applying the, the thin one also and then um, the difference being the of course the wear layer between these two well the thin one it's approximately 0.8 of a millimeter and the thick one one no sorry 0.6 and then the thick one so uh, around 0.1 so you have more to go, more more leeway on the on the thick one. Anyway, um, I plan to do the uh, the thin one on the uh, flats and the thick one on the rear. And um, and uh, to prepare the saddle for me for Rulon, I will mill down. I say here 0.8 uh, millimeter. That is because then I will be with the glue here. It is approximately one millimeter. I will be a little bit above what I was, but that is to to compensate for uh, because I have to skim off a little bit with the mill uh, to get it even after gluing it a little uneven, and then I will have uh, some let's say leeway to scrape it down uh, to match um, and then get down to where the original surface was. This lathe here was using the narrow guide principle so it was riding between the gib here and the front the, the rear of the front way this shorter strip here i will use this surface instead this is unworn so uh, i know that i can trust it i've measured can trust this as a, as reference and um the gap here has normally been around one millimeter or a little bit like uh, uh, in that region so I if I use a, a thick rulon strip here I think I will uh, end up with the, the thickness so that I can scrape first of all mill down scrape and end up uh, with this being uh, okay I will then avoid this one altogether maybe I can use it for support if it matches up but uh, not really meant to I also plan to take away to relieve the middle here. I do that because I uh, learned that that could be wise. And also the same here on the sad on the um, on the pads here. I will leave sorry the uh, the flats I will leave so it there is there are four pads like this meaning relieve the middle the same reason because it's wise and that is because you avoid rock so that as it wears of course you will not uh, uh, combat wear in that respect other than it will then not rock at least because of the wear and then having the pads as this uh, or at least uh, really having a rule on them simplifies um, making the saddle 90 degrees to the spindle if you have the spindle like this and then the saddle here of course you shall be 90 degrees to the spindle axis but it shall not be above 90 degrees that way so it shall be from 0 to 1 maybe 0 0.005 how as of five thousandths of a millimeter this way and that I can do easily with scraping here so scraping uh, the rear pads here to tilt it either way easy 
The same goes for, uh, of course, having rulon here uh, as a material is, is easy to scrape. So if you, as we know, the front way wears the most. So clip it down, it will be the front way towards the, where the tool pressure uh, is. This will be wearing the most, maybe this uh, <coughs> second and then third and fourth. So uh, as it wears, it's easier to scrape down the rule on than, uh, than if it was cast, of course. And it's very easy when you have these pads to just uh, maybe with a feely gauge, go in here and then measure. And um, this will be then if you have the ways like this and you have the pads like this. So you have pad number one, two, three and four. You know that this will be wearing most so you can easily just touch up this one and then scrape this down maybe after you have uh, somewhere hundreds or two hundreds knowing that the saddle wears more than the bed i guess i bet you can uh, recondition the saddle once or twice before you do the bed so here we are looking onto the to a mifer bed, as you can see the top surface is uh, scraped and if I have the saddle here with my four pads, relieve the middle so to speak, put it here, I, I bet you can test your saddle easily on, the, on your um, lathe if you have a freshly scraped bed or, uh, or at least uh, it's uh, up here on the tailstock way. You can just put in a field gauge here to test. And this is now on the on the worn section, on the worn bed. So you can you can hear what I mean by by rock. So this is my setup for milling the not MO but super Seven saddle, of course. Uh, securely mounted it here and used uh, some round bolts to hold it in the dovetails. <coughs> I had to shim up a little bit here, and because I have, of course, uh, measured down here. And um, Run an indicator along, so I know that it's flat according to that. And um, using jacks here also to hold it so that this end, which is secured here, I mean it's a pivoting point here, so to avoid that dipping down, meaning that this will be a little bit fat, I put jacks under there, screw jacks. And I will just mill here. So I will keep uh, away from the rear side here, so because I know that is virgin. I see all now that this has a bit of a dent here, actually. Here, so this hole has actually eaten almost through here that is the hole where you tighten up against the uh, i mean against the rear uh, uh, way so maybe i have to on this one at least don't think that's a problem on the others but is this hole here see here here is enough distance but on this one it's actually quite close but normally i don't want to take away on this surface I guess I'll just uh, kiss it here also. And of course, go down as I said, 0.8 of a millimeter. Okay, I may also use this as extra support, uh, meaning that after I've scraped, uh, after when I scrape the rear here, maybe I'll leave this one also in 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 touch. But I'm not sure. I mean, this would be rather strange also so um, 
in any case if this shall be the main support or the main uh, guideway this could mean that it could function as support only but mm -hmm, it would be rather odd also so we'll see So uh, we have a piece of um, freshly milled saddle here. See a shim here. Okay. You can see the oil grooves have gone and uh, it's quite fine milled also. 0.8 taken out this surface just touched because there is a you see there this is almost eaten through uh, this also just kissed here so um, first one ready for rulon yeah just to add of course, I could have left it as is and just scraped. Um, just scraped down on this. Uh, this is another one, of course. But I think it would have easily been better anyway to mill it down and then scrape because uh, yeah, to remove the veil. And so far, these are my three uh, saddles to work on, where you see a semi-finished, but not finished down here saddle, a ground, no sorry, a milled saddle, and here also one where I have applied rulon, but not taking away the glue. Um, I start with uh, making sure that I have this flat and I use this as I said unworn reference all the time and I use whatever I can here for reference actually on this one I haven't prepared it so you this is as as it comes so it there of course wear down here and this has been eaten up a little bit but here you see the original um, milling marks so I try to prove that this here as or versus these are uh, flat to on the surface plate. So I know something about uh, the initial, let's say, condition before I start. And um, I've done this on this one, whereas I also have uh, scraped it. So I know these are now flat to one another and all within... Um, uh, yeah, at least within one hundredth of a millimeter or better, and also to these and uh, to this, this then to here. So this is like semi prepared, and then I have, ground, I have uh, milled it, and I also have milled down a little bit, like um, because I like to differentiate between the different, let's say, vertical and horizontal. Um, ways i uh, have to of course scratch and in preparation of course you scratch uh, everything so you get a good bond here and you take um, out the 
the oil in the casting with um, with heat and you also then rinse it with the um, brake cleaner on this one I have um, then glued on the rulon as you see and uh, this is at least <laughs> there's enough glue um, this is a bit of a this is some some um, cleaning up acts to do but I'm fairly pleased so now I will mill this down a certain that or of course measure it first and then mill it probably a little bit so I know it's flat before I start scraping it and I scrape it with uh, with hand scraping pull scraping actually like just pull scraping it so I just scratch it like this To get a good bond I'm not sure how the paint on the other side will uh, survive but we'll see to go out the oil This seems to function good. So you clamp down firmly, but not excessively, but on to supports that go all the way over. Just a certain that the glue is it doesn't shift. Yeah, leave it until tomorrow. <laughs> 